Oh, there's a five medium hog dip. Oh yeah, baby. All right guys, one of the things that we are going to do in addition to just doing a hog deer guide is we are going to use the 22, 250, the 223, and the 243 against these hog deer around the same distance. And we're going to compare and see which one we think is the better gun. Because I have had people ask me already, what is the best two to three gun now? Is it the 22, 250? Is it the 223, which received a buff, supposedly? Or is it the 243 still? You'll have to watch the video to find out. Also, you'll have to find out what happens with that five medium that we ran across there. I'll leave that footage at the end. Uh, you, there will also be a map toward the end as well that I will share with you that will have places that they drink circled. So enjoy and good luck hunting. Yeah, we've got a female hog deer here. The female. Oh, there's a male around. Here we go. There's one male, another female. All right. Let's put that male down. All right, we are going to try the 223 from a little over 200 meters. Let's see what the 223 does here. We're, we're going to compare the 223 to the 22, 250, and the 243. Right now, not super impressed. We, we were just over 200 meters. We caught single lung. It's just not going to penetrate. I get, I get it. I get it against. I understand if that is against, you know, a whitetail or something. That's a level three hog deer, in my opinion. That should penetrate a little more than that. So that's that's a pretty weak. The 223 initial response is I, I think it's it's weak. I know it's supposed to be unbuffed. But that's a little hog deer, a little class three animal. And you see that we are at this little not really a lot. I guess it's a lake at the end of this river here. I killed a five medium diamond hog deer right there. All right, here is our level three hog deer. And as you can see, it barely penetrated. It was 218 meters. It barely penetrated through to single one. Barely. Let's try to get over here. We've got several hog deer. Females over there. I'm gonna get over here to get a little better angle. And also trying to recreate that shot. We're gonna do the 22, 250 this time. We wanna go a little over 200 meters because I want a true comparison. We'll use the 22, 250. We used the 223 last time. I just wanna kinda of see what kind of penetration we're gonna get here. Let's see if we can get a little better angle. We don't want any excuses, right? Okay, it's the 22, 250. From about the same distance. Wait. We'll let him raise his head up. I don't want any. There. Now, 22, 250. About the same distance. Not dropping too quickly either. Doesn't even look like we're going to get to see it. Fall. So we will head over that way and track it down. All right, guys, here we go. Tracking distance of 324.68 meters and be here from 205 meters. Even a little bit shorter than what the 223 was. I think it was 218. And it's still barely penetrated around 324.68 meters not impressed and you can see here that we were at this lake close to this outpost archie's camper and heading several hog deer spots all right guys here goes a nice hog deer that we have scared off i'm gonna have to shoot it we're gonna have to trust our instincts go with it on the on the trot probably We 
which means we'll have to do our comparison at another because <laughs> that guy's going to die. He, uh, Earl had to die, you know. Earl had to die. I would say he's about to bite the bullet. We're at this lake. A couple hog deer zones here. He finally died. <laughs> uh, we can't do the comparison with this one. We're going to find us another one to shoot. But I did want to show you this lake in the rotation. And I will take the, a moment to explain too. A lot of times you're just going to see one male. We actually caught a non vital You're going to see one male a lot of times. You'll see plenty more females, as is the case most of the time. And you're going to shoot them. You're going to come back. They're probably not going to be there. They're going to shuffle around. They're going to behave a lot like roe deer. Animals that aren't in herds, which means you got to keep coming back to these lakes. Sometimes they're going to be here. Sometimes they're not. They're going to shuffle around their spawns because they're spawning a lot of solo zones. You just don't see a lot of herds. You don't really see any herds of hog deer. So you're going to have to treat them like you would a roe deer or something. You know, uh, find your lakes that you go to, shoot them, move on. Um, some lakes they'll spawn at, males will spawn at more frequently than others. Some of them it might be every second or third time you visit. This is the 243, which I think personally is the best gun to use. That would have been a goad, and it's hard to get a goad hog deer. So that's a shame that we ruined it. That's a shame that we ruined it. But we're using the 243 right there. Let's go try to find another spot. We were here right by Opal Point, which also a good little stubble quail spot. All right, guys, we have a level two hog deer, which I don't really want to shoot, but we're going to do it for science. Uh, we've been shooting the other ones from right around a little over 200 meters. This one looks to be about 218. That's about where I think it's at. This is the 243. I don't like shooting these small ones, but we'll do it for science. We'll do it for science. Plus, I've already got my five medium hog deer. Let's see. He seems to be dropping a little faster. I'm not going to shoot him again. This is going to be one shot. Let's see. We're going to watch him die right there. So already more impressed with the 243 than I am the 22, 250 or the 223. So my initial advice for anybody hog deer grinding, use the 243. I mean, Use the most powerful gun that'll get the job done, is what I say. A 243 will move on up there and kill bigger animals, yeah, but if you're wanting to be efficient, if you are wanting to put the most amount of animals down to do a grind, to get, I thought that was a hog deer for a second, to get the most hog deer down on the ground, and you don't want to be going and uh, tracking everything all over the place. And you want to shoot them. You want them to die quickly. Well, I'm really loving this fallow ground. They just face plant more often than not. And I'm not getting any of that with the hog deer. It's like even the 243 is not penetrating to double lung, which I think it should. I think it should. It would in real life. It 100% would in real life. Uh, against a little hog deer like that, it would definitely penetrate the double lung. And that's what I think should it should be. I think, you know, animals small like that, it should penetrate double lung. And then when you start getting up a little, maybe even in the class four, class five animals, then it doesn't, you know, but for now, the 243 is my go-to for the hog deer grind. So let's look at the penetration now. Uh, we watched it die. It penetrated way more than the other ones, and it's at 196. Uh, so the two, the 243 wins the award for me. All right, guys, we're at another one of my favorite spots to hunt hog deer. Um, there are actually one, two, three, four zones here. So good chance that every time you come here, because there's four zones, you're going to see a male, you know? 
So there's two meals here. But there's a bigger one that I want to shoot right now. Maybe that guy doesn't spook. Who knows? Look here. At all the hog deer. We're also going to try in the name of science. We're going to see what a 300 meter straight on shot against that hog deer is going to do. Now, is that going to penetrate through? We're going to get a lung from that. I think we did. We did. That's actually not bad. It's just not going to fold them up. You're not going to find one that folds them up and pass the harvest check, I don't believe. So let's look. Did that guy flee? He did not. He's still drinking calm. He is not facing us, though, is he? Let's turn him around. Gerald for 300, so aim a smidge low. We might have went through that bone, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. There we go. So there's two male hog deer down at this lake. Two level threes. Keep on running that way. That's fine. we got to go that way anyway to pick up your other buddy. Actually, guys, we, we actually have a third hog deer at this lake. The third male. But I've put so much pressure down here. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot him. I'm going to let him live this time. I'm going to show you where you're going to find hog deer. I'm going to put a map up. We're going to go through it and talk about it. You'll start noticing a pattern. You just have to figure that out on your own map. That every two or three times you go to this lake, there's usually a male there or whatever. So there's one down. We're lucky with that. <laughs> it's showing it didn't even penetrate but it gave us it gave us left lung on it but uh, anyway let's throw the map up let's talk about all the places that you can find hog deer and then I'm going to leave you with the footage of the five medium that you saw at the beginning of this video alright guys this is going to do it for the guide but I wanted to leave you with this map and then after and look at what happens with that five medium hog deer that we spotted earlier in the video. So if you look at the map, they pretty much drink all over. And just because I don't have a lake circle doesn't mean they don't drink there. I've just not found them there yet. And I believe there's gonna be some rotational zones. So as you shoot them, zones could pop up on some of these other lakes that we are not seeing them at right now. But as you look, I mean, they're all over the map. So just keep searching, but I know they're there. So that would give you a first place to look. And the, the gold star that you see is where I did shoot my five medium diamond hog deer. So keep searching. As you can see here, there are four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, looks like. 19 different lakes that they drink at so they're pretty much everywhere and they'll probably be at the other ones as well they do drink from 13 to 1700 so good luck feel free to copy this map if you need to use it just please give me credit which you see my watermark in the background anything i can do to help you guys let me know in the comments I hope this video helps you get your hog deer diamond or rare or whatever you are after. And once again, guys, please help by sharing my videos to your friends, word of mouth. If you like the video, tell them, say, hey, if you need a good guide on hog deer here and share it, copy that link, message it to them. The more people that watch my videos, the more chance it has hitting that algorithm and the more incentive it gives me to keep making videos. It's it's hard to make videos when they just get watched 100, 200 times. Let's try to get it out there. Let's try to help as many people as we can. And hopefully you will also get your hog deer. This is Darth Sloan, and I will catch you next time. Oh yeah, baby. Five medium hog deer right there. I thought that was like a fallow or something when I saw those antlers. Ooh, boy. 
he's actually got a really good angle right there. Should I just go ahead and give him the old what for? I think I should. Let's give him the old what for, people. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Five medium hog deer. Look at those antlers. 104 to 121. Hold on, let me type that in chat. And I promise I did not know he was there. Y'all saw the zone pop up. He'd never been spotted. I didn't even have that zone. Now, diamond is uh, 108.68 is diamond. 104 was the bottom. Corpus is just hoping it's 104. <laughs> Killer, I would say it's going real good. Look at this hog there. We've got laid down here. Look at this bad boy. Let's see. He is a diamond 108.99. He barely made it, but I don't care. I don't get hung up on the numbers. <laughs> We're going to taxidermize. We got our diamond hog deer, baby. We've got our diamond hog deer. Uh. Oh, it makes me happy. Uh-oh. Mexico. All I'm saying. 